Hello and welcome to Game Day Wars. My name is Yvanshu and today I'm going to show you Tactics Pathfinding system. I am using a star algorithm which is already built in Godot and I am going to show you some of the tactics JRPG type style pathfinding game. So it's a grid based game. Let me go let me show you how to create tiles. This thing is inspired by this thing is inspired. Uh, this system is inspired by Remo Ray Rack. I hope I'm pronouncing it correct. Sorry for my mispronunciation. So uh, you can check the source code too. This is MIT free. And yeah. So I'm kind of inspired by this, but I am kind of using different approach. So what? A few steps are the same. So first of all you need to create tiles. You can create tiles over here. Yep, you can subdivide it or just create one by one block. So once you create all these faces, then you need to separate it, split, face by edge, then face separate by loose part. Yeah, everything is separate now. Now what you need to do is object set origin origin to geometry. Now the origin is at the center. Now what I am doing is that I am transforming it to positive tile. This is still negative. Now it's all positive. Yeah, you can check the code dot location transform too because lo go to location transform is kind of different and yeah so right now they are at square box but what i am going to do is i am going to offset it by 0.5 why i am doing this is to make their origin to be at the center of grid now each tile is at the center of grid this grid and this grid is one by one same one by two oh, I made a mistake yeah so it's 10 by 10 grid and it's at the center of blender grid and now you can export it simply export it in your favorite format FBX Godot does not support SBX. Go for GLTF or whatever you like, and whatever Godot's like. Once you export the object, uh, you can import it over here. And yeah, this also says, this also support elevation, so you can change the elevation to you know whatever you like. and make a whole level out of it something like this so once you are done with this just import it over here it will be like this tile root node and everything inside the uh, root node is going to be your tiles the rest of the things are not uh, that much important this is your player and let me play you the game so right now what I have got is let it load yep so yeah you can go to any elevation you want and it will follow the system you have created tile system you have created so let's see how it works so First of all, you need to create a star. I'm using a star 2D. Uh, Godot has got its own a star pathfinding system. So the second thing is I'm creating the array of point. This is neighbor point. Uh, this is the testing point. Actually, we don't need this. My bad. The next thing I'm creating is cell, which is a dictionary and yeah there's one more thing 
the collision scene collision scene is basically i am this is kind of a trick you can say and it makes my life easy basically it's a static body 3d with collision shape and i have rotated it a little bit so that it can fit the blender exported scene and then i am spawning the collision 2d at each child of fruit node basically inside the plane inside all the planes inside all the tiles so for node in tile root node this for every children get children so i am creating the collision inst instantiate and instantiating this basically creating the duplicate and then i am changing the scale because uh, i haven't exported this blender with correct scale right now the scale is 300 and i need uh, it to be of scale 1 so what i am doing is that i am scaling it down by dividing it with the node scale by dividing the collision box basically this with the node scale so it will be like 0 0.003 so yeah and for what else for what other purpose i'm using this static body uh this static body is replicable and i am using these signals these signals to get my life easy to make my life easy and to get the thing done basically if mouse entered do something uh what i was thinking is that to uh, get a tile highlight and once the mouse entered this particular tile it highlights the tile either by changing the uh, material or by spawning or by transforming a uh, highlight node a highlight tile to the place to the tile place so yeah i am connecting the mouse editor mouse exit input event basically once i click the mouse then it works on the intended function so i am also binding the node position you can either bind node but you should not make your script cluttered with everything a node will give you reference to many other things for example name get path and yeah position and all but i like to keep my script to the limited thing basically uh, giving it access to only the position nothing else so once i get the position i can change the tire highlight to that position mouse entered nothing basically to remove tile highlight or to hide tile highlight or to do anything you want and i am also binding position to uh, input event input event already has so many uh, pass on so many bindings already but yeah you can do other things too All right now this thing is not doing any special thing the input event is just mouse click and it goes to that particular position the uh, player this pl blue ball goes to that position and yeah i will explain this later on so first of all i need to explain this at child that collision then what else I am doing is that storing the few data inside this cell dictionary. So cell point vector to y storing the position in positive format. Why? Because right now the transform is in a weird format. For example 101. Not weird format, it's in golden format. So x1, y which is this and z so z is minus one i need it to be in positive format so to give few so to give data to the a star this thing uh, so i am converting the x and z of particular tile of these tiles into 2d in two dimension and then 
storing it as a key inside the cell so that key for example 1 comma 1 is storing the data which is elevation name node get path and position you can just store the node only this and it will reference you this node and you can get uh, all your things from that too but I am going this way uh, because I can so that I can read the possible thing that I required so for cell in cells basically 1 comma 1 0 comma 1 1 comma 2 the position I am storing a star at point with ID and that position so uh, what ID is so what ID is it is this function to give unique ID for each uh, grid this is also called contour pairing pairing contour at point and that's it for this loop then the other loop for cell in cells I'm checking its neighbor basically that cell uh, north south east west tile the neighboring tiles and I'm checking if that neighboring tile is in this cell basically if that neighboring tile exists has this cell then I am also checking the elevation uh, for example what you can do with this pathfinding system is that you can check the elevation difference and if particular for example if particular class particular character has the possibility to jump from this style from lower elevation to a particular upper elevation to a particular height then it will connect that particular elevation uh, or else it will not connect that particular elevation for example you cannot jump from this style this style to this style or you can jump from this style to this style so here this is jump jump height by increasing it you can jump to a high elevation by decreasing it you can uh, you can remove the access to high elevation so if the jump is possible if this lower than zero then you start connect points cell id unique id then id to neighbor point basically this style to this style and do not connect this style to this style because the elevation is quite high so once the tile is connected you can go to that tile uh, you can get the path finding connect points you one unique id to other unique id and this is uh, called bidirectional which is false uh, basically it can go back and forth there's another function called move from id to id basically from one grid to another grid so first id is uh, what this function do get id path a star dot get id path from one id to another id it moves uh, it gives you the id point between the one grid to another grid for example the character is on uh, one comma one grid and if you click to this grid it will give you the id of the path chosen by the path finder so it will come in array and then what you can do you can store the path points in an array it's an array and then you can get uh, your vector points basically your grid in vector 2 x comma y and then you can go from that position to that position using the using those vector points so i am creating a twin linear go from position see is where go from position self position uh, the current position to this vector position 
so i am accessing it using the grid position and i have stored the grid position over here over here in the cell dictionary this so cell grid 1 comma 1 has this position yeah that's it for the move there is nothing on to the process i did same and yeah so a mouse enter to this particular tile to do something mouse and exit it from this particular tile to do something so yeah and over here while clicking to this particular tile it will give you the position which i am passing it by binding node position so there i am using the x comma y of that particular position over here to get the second id basically the id for move function to move from one tile to the tile the id of uh, first move the id one of move function is self position if this uh, sphere self position this position dot x this position dot z basically x comma y of grid 1 comma 1 that's why i transform the grid over here to the grid system of blender so you can get the grid system of godot as well 5 comma 1 tile 1 comma minus 5 yeah these are all situated in the grid of godot as well and it move it calls move so on left mouse press for example i am in this particular grid it's passing the this grid x comma y this grid coordinate and it will convert that grid coordinate into the position position of this plane and then it moves this pair from this position to this position and that's it and this is for the tactical grid based pathfinding i hope you like this video it might be a little bit complicated but i tried to explain it in uh, in the easiest way that i can possibly explain and i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe and wait for my next video until then